Right, hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. So, the reason I've put this video up today is because I've been doing a little bit of thinking. So, what I'm wanting to do in the brewery, as a lot of you will know, is start canning beer. I found a seamer, which um, is a proper one, it's not a homebrew or a hobbyist style seamer. And uh, I've placed an order for it, so it should be with us, hopefully within six to eight weeks. I'm not sure whether it's going to arrive in that time scale yet or not, but uh, fingers crossed and all that. So in the meantime, um, I'm wanting to come up with a way of filling cans. We can't use the bottle filler that we have at work because it's not designed obviously for cans. Um, and whilst I'm wanting to can condition so we won't be filling cans which are already carbonated that might be an option further down the road so the canning machines that are available the people who were buying the seamer off actually also make the filling machines they're upwards of fifteen thousand pounds and basically they are pretty much the same as what we're going to sketch out here today so I'm going to give you an idea of what I actually want to make to fill the cans with and I'm hoping, I'm asking, seeing as people are at home on lockdown or whatever else, that there'll be some people out there generous enough to spare a little bit of their time and help me source some components but more importantly help me write some code in order to uh, make this work automatically so we can have the cans being filled powered maybe by an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi whilst I can be operating the can seamer. So let's start sketching out what I have in mind. So we are going to have some type of track. Let's say this is some type of track like that and it's going to have, imagine, uh, scaffolding rails if you like, but we're talking the size of a can or a, a pint glass or a bottle. So we'll stick our cans and bottles on here like this. There's one, there's two, and this is going to have these little fences either side to hold everything on. You know where I'm coming from, right? I think you do. I hope you can see that easy enough. We might just zoom down a little bit. So that's the little track. Obviously all this is going to be sat on a table. So it was just floating in midair at the moment, but you get the drift. So what I'm wanting to do is, once you put a couple of cans or a couple of bottles onto your track, I want to have some type of gas strut that will, when you put two more cans on here, it will push forwards, push like a little plate forwards, and this will go forwards and backwards, pushing cans across the conveyor, like that. So. That's that bit. Uh, that will of course be um, powered by the Arduino, this gas strut. I'm thinking do we use a gas strut? I think a gas strut is probably the best way to go. And then that can be powered by the Arduino of course. It can open a solenoid valve to let gas in, let gas out. So it operates that way. And then as it pushes cans further down the line, like it will slide directly onto a base plate for a can filler and the can filler I would like to kind of have um, some gas struts running along maybe a guide rail so maybe these are the gas struts here and they raise and lower a scaffolding which houses two tubes here which go through maybe some solenoid valves and off to a CO2 tank and then two tubes here which again 
go through solenoid valves and off to a beer tank or a pump or even a keg with beer in it. So what I want to happen is when these two cans are pushed underneath, well you'll have two cans underneath the CO2 and then two cans that are already been purged by the CO2 sat under the beer. So what we want to happen is the whole assembly, all of this section, goes down and obviously stops at a predetermined point, maybe the end of the gas strut, you know, that's the lowest part, I don't know. Or maybe these, this scaffolding is held onto the gas struts by maybe some type of grub screw so it can be raised and lowered according to the height of your cans or bottles. So we need some code to allow this to, once the cans are there, to descend. And then we'd want to open two solenoid valves here, giving a 10 second purge into the cans with CO2 to remove any oxygen or air, and then turn off. And at the same time, we'd like the two solenoids for the beer lines to open up filling the cans of beer cans up with beer and then i was thinking taped to the side of the filling tubes like almost like this maybe just a little wire coming down the filling tube and just a little wire that either goes you know at the side like that or maybe two wires, I don't know if it'd have to be two wires. And I was thinking when the level of the beer rises and touches these two wires, it the beer itself creates or closes a circuit, giving a signal to the Arduino to stop filling. So we can adjust the filling level in each of these, and they're all, these two valves would be independent. We'd be able to adjust the filling level by adjusting the height of these two wires or indeed is there some type of ultrasonic probe available on RS components or something like that that we could use that is cheap enough and suitable um, for food, a food grade like environment, a food production environment. So I'm thinking with this it's going to be washable isn't it because I can just use some stainless steel wire and then higher up we can just connect that onto some copper wires, you know, and then that can go across into the Arduino. So what's touching the beer can actually just be stainless steel, I would imagine. I don't know, with some, maybe some heat shrink tubing around it to stop continuity going through the stainless steel fill tube. Again, I don't know. And then obviously, once the beer is filled up to a certain line or height, then the whole thing retracts back up to where it was before and then we go back to the start again cycle with the solenoid pushing more cans underneath the assembly so yeah it looks simple obviously it is quite simple but I don't know how to write code in fact when we put the tilts up in the brewery on the uh, Raspberry Pi and the monitor there Somebody kindly wrote the code for me and uh, I just cribbed that basically. So I'm sure there's somebody out there who can help me. I need to find out and I'm going to post the questions and uh, like the, um, the process below in the comments so you can have a look at what we want to do. If anything needs adding or subtracting from that, I'd like to know. Uh, do I use an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, what type of gas struts do I need, where will I find, what company will sell me this track, I'm thinking Meccano type stuff basically, but stainless steel ultimately, um, and then I could just like use a HDPE um, container jerry can to cut out the uh, tracks for the bottom if we just wanted them to be kind of low friction so the cans can slide along or maybe even just a stainless steel track on its own, I don't know to make this kind of stuff obviously that fence will have to continue in front of the canning machine as well and behind so uh, the filling machine so obviously the cans stay all parallel 
Um, yeah, what valves? I can use maybe get away with brass valves for the CO2 side, but I need some stainless steel solenoid valves or plastic ones for the bay side. I don't know. Again, it's got to be able to handle cleaning chemicals if it's on the bay side. And uh, yeah, could I hook this whole thing up to maybe a tablet which was just stuck on the side there? So I could put like a a, a Samsung Galaxy tab there or something and we can have a control touchscreen controller so I can get into all the settings and speed things up and slow things down and that kind of stuff and change all the parameters I'm not sure how do we make this conductive um, sensor do we buy one where can we get one from all these questions folks I'm sure there's some people out there who will be able to help me answer them so if you can I would be you know very much appreciative of that and if uh, if we get this whole thing up and running whoever comes up with a solution for particularly the programming or the coding of an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi then I'd be quite happy to send you a case of beers as well when we've done it. So there's incentive if you need it. I'm sure you don't. Um, and also, while we're on the subject of the Arduino, do, what Arduino do I need? And can we have an Arduino that has like loads of pinouts coming out of it? And then that runs to little relay boxes. So they control the relay boxes like this. And then the relay boxes obviously have the cables going out to the solenoid valves or to the controllers for the gas struts and all that kind of stuff. We've got compressed air in house so we can supply compressed air to this. We've got CO2 and we've got beer and we should have a can seaming machine when it's all done. So there we go folks. I'm hoping that there are a few people out there who can help me out. I've got an Arduino, um, I think it's, yeah, I'm logged in to the Arduino forum, uh, but I haven't really set up a proper account there yet. Uh, if I do, I will leave a link to it down below if anybody wants to ping me over some code or anything like that, but yeah. I definitely need your help so please come to the rescue folks there we go I look forward to hearing from you all thank you very much and uh, well I'll see you on the next video cheers